unequivocally deny the allegations that I assaulted Jack Wright. This video is from November 30th, 2020. Jack. As you can clearly see, that is Sienna and that is Jack passed out on the couch. This is the first time I met Sienna and I did not know that they had a fake relationship. This is me in the white hat. I was taking care of Jack while he was unconscious on the couch. Sienna then hops on top of him and I think nothing of it. I started hearing kissing noises and I peeked over my shoulder and it was exactly that. I was so thrown off guard that I had to leave the situation. Whatever their relationship was at the time, obviously this was not right. So I went back and took Sienna off Jack. Not to mention when I got closer, I noticed her right hand inappropriately touching his crush. Talked to James and Jack the next day about the situation that happened at night. And James said that happens all the time. These are the facts and I'm a witness. What is up guys and welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi it's Keisha I'm your host for today's video nice to meet you today we're going to be talking about Jack Wright and Sienna May if you don't know who they are that's okay I'm gonna give you guys a quick rundown of who these people are how they rose to fame their ages and then also talking about the massive problem here this has been a story that's been going on for a couple of months now but it's only as of recently aka last night where Jack released a video on his YouTube channel basically talking about what it was really like to be around Sienna May he made you know, some accusations and it was a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a huge disclaimer, a huge trigger warning. We are going to be talking about abuse. We are going to be talking about SA. I understand it can be very uncomfortable for a lot of my viewers watching right now. I do urge if you can to definitely tune into this one because I feel as though we often have the conversations where the victim is a female. The things that I'm saying in this video still apply, you know, um, but it's very interesting to see that in this situation, it's the guy and very good on him for coming forward because i feel like a lot of men would have seen this as like oh no i, I would never go on a platform i would never you know go to the police and, and report this because it makes me look like i'm less of a man when in reality that is not the type of mindset you want to have but the unfortunate thing is that is society you know that's what society has trained a lot of guys to believe oh by coming forward as a man it means well you're not tough enough to fight her off all of these disgusting snidey comments are what typically happen so you know good on jack for coming forward Prior to this story, I didn't really know these people, but I do respect Jack. And I do think that if there's anybody watching right now who's a victim of SA, a victim of abuse, I am so sorry. And just know that um, if you feel comfortable enough to come forward and hopefully one day you do. I know there are some people who take it to the grave of them and that's so unfortunate. But I feel like we also have to be realistic by saying that as much as it's one thing to tell someone to come forward there are a lot of situations and scenarios where a lot of people feel like they can't they don't have the access to and the people around them just wouldn't be as supportive as we would just make it out to be, you know seem so yes i'm going to try and travel this story very lightly and be very sensitive there's definitely a situation worth speaking about sienna may I hope you don't I, I hope you don't dance because one thing about Sienna whenever something goes bad it's let me go and make a TikTok video let me go and dance in a video dance my problems away and it's like damn I don't think you can get out of this one anyways make sure you guys like comment and subscribe if you end up enjoying today's video as always please be sure to leave a comment down below get involved with this conversation and yes let's just get started Okay, so I've written down a bunch of notes. Who is Jack Wright? So Jack Wright is described as a dancer slash entertainer on TikTok, also commonly known for living in the hype house and making videos with like, you know, the Addison Rays, the D'Amelios. He's also 18 years old. Jack is the ex-boyfriend of the TikTok star Sienna Mae Gomez. According to a YouTube video published by Sienna, the couple dated for nine months. They were fan favorites in the hype house, often seen filming content together and kissing and hugging in Instagram posts. Sienna and Jack were both announced as stars of the Netflix series documenting the hype house alongside other stars like Nikita Dragon, Lil Chase, I mean sorry, <clears throat> Chase. <laughs> it's actually interesting because surprisingly this is what sickness can do to you, this is what being on the weather can do to you. <laughs> um, I remember, I think it was maybe what day was it? I think it was the weekend. I was literally just like laying down on my bed and I was like, I'm actually really bored. Boredom can also do a lot to you because I went on Netflix and then the first thing I saw was Hype House. I saw Nikita and I was like, I don't want to click this. And I remember I posted this on my Instagram story and people were like, Keisha, are you actually watching this? I was like, nah, I'm not going to do it. The next day I was like, okay, let me actually watch it. And do you know what? Surprisingly, I actually... I, I hated the privilege in that show and I hated how they would just waste money. I hated how they would just act as if money was nothing and it was just something that, you know, we can just get back the next day, you know? I did see a side to a lot of the people, I'm not gonna lie to you, this is not meant to be some sort of review, um, but I particularly enjoyed certain aspects and also hated certain aspects, like when Nikita tried to invalidate um, Lorraine 
for speaking on black vision and issues that are personal to him and us as black people <laughs> did not see sienna at all i did not see um jack as well so i wonder why that is now let's go ahead and talk about who is sienna may sienna may is an 18 year old tiktoker she gained a mass following from her body positivity content and she's accumulated over 14 million followers on tiktok that is huge tiktok is a platform in which i have grown to appreciate because if you've been watching me since maybe 2019 you guys know i absolutely hated tiktok i hated it because of the amount of times there was still dance moves not give credit and i feel like credit is always important especially though especially when you are a person who looks like me i feel as though we are often um invisible <laughs> um in these spaces but then we also have the most unique ideas we might not be the ones to bring it to like the mainstream but that's my very point like if it has been brought to mainstream and you have this mass following give credit where credit is due and don't just do it when people are forcing you to plenty of other issues with tiktok that i've seen that has been improving therefore my existence on the platform <laughs> i think it's also important that you guys realize that she gained a mass following from her body positivity content as in love yourself kind of content as in doesn't matter how you look you're beautiful kind of content as in take control of the world don't let the world control you kind of content and what i find very contradicting is the fact that it's body positivity content but in that same breath you've taken advantage of other people which we're going to go ahead and talk about in just a second because whilst i'm talking about jack there were also other male victims who came forward to talk about the fact that they face a lot of crap you know whilst being in relation to sienna so you know it's just very interesting how the one who likes to portray themselves in the most positive light is also a very wicked person it could also be the monster as well and this is why i always say you can love someone you can appreciate them they could have helped you, you they could have changed your life but baby you don't know them and that's why it's very shocking for a lot of people when they hear oh sienna may the one who did this the one who changed the game for me is accused of this how could it be a friend of jack accused sienna of sexually assaulting her former partner on twitter mason rizzo who has 184,000 tiktok followers posted a screenshot of uh, a notes app page with a statement accusing sienna of misconduct along with claims that she was verbally abusive the tweet was later caught retweeted by jack's twin brother james saying this is why i couldn't just let it go and stay out of it the statement was shared across a bunch of different gossip pages like the tiktok room and deaf noodles which are both blogs that have a lot of followers so you know by them posting it obviously a lot of people are tuning in to see like what the hell is going on here i didn't stress again that this is not just oh my god exposed exposed no like there is a time and place for those kind of titles and you know both rizzo and james deleted their tweets rizzo then tweeted a statement that he the right family and gomez family will be handling the situation off of social media this was a conversation had last year on the internet it's only brought back up because jack seemed more than ready enough to finally speak out on the abuse he had faced from sienna good on him for doing that um i think it's a brave move i think it's one thing to come forward and admit that this has happened to you but it's another thing to announce it to the public by doing that i'm sure he was aware that some people are not gonna believe him there was even one moment where he said i feel like no one believes and then he stopped and that honestly like bro like that actually was about to bring tears to my eyes i don't want to get into too much detail but like there were even situations where like oh how could you have been sa'd if you managed to if you're managed to I'm not gonna get into too much detail again you know and that's just like people invalidating other people's experiences so at the time of all of these allegations taking place last year sienna filmed a youtube video titled addressing false allegations where she obviously responded to allegations and she also danced i think a lot of people already knew at the time that she was guilty anyways uh based on just like leaked videos that have been put out there on the internet and just seeing the way that she treats people in general a lot of people didn't find it too hard to believe but of course you've got her like following who genuinely like stuck with her ride or die and all that right so she said in that video i i can't pronounce this word but i feel like she deliberately chose this word just to make it look like she's making sense especially because the demographic for both of these creators are kids literal children she said i unequivocally who i maybe i'm the dumb one <laughs> 
I unequivocally denied the allegations that I SA'd Jack Wright. Friends fight and relationships sometimes change, but the allegations of a criminal act are not to be thrown around loosely. Making an untrue SA claim is never okay. I'm beyond saddened by the situation. In order for us to all move forward, I will be taking this offline with Jack. Thank you to all who have reached out with love and concern. It says here, a spokesperson for Gomez denied all allegations against her in an email to Business Insider. Clearly there are issues causing him pain right now in his personal life, the statement said, referring to Jack. At that time, Jack was yet to make any public statements about the accusations. Uh, Sienna went to deny the allegations twice more in YouTube videos and went to further details about her relationship with Jack. She claimed she felt as though their relationship was transactional and that she wasn't important to him when she wasn't around for the TikTok kiss or the TikTok video. So you've got Sienna, you know, at the time he was stating, this can't be true. I feel like I was used by Jack. I feel like he only ever wanted to be around me if it was for a TikTok kiss or a TikTok moment to help, you know, gain our following. There are scenarios where you know, you do have, you know, fake relationships and fake narratives made just for clicks and likes and money and engagement, all that stuff, right? But then you've got Jack in present day dropping a video, basically trying to say, hold on a goddamn minute. You said what? No, 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 let me explain what actually happened. Let me tell you guys the truth, okay? So yes, he posted a video, I believe it was like 17 minutes long. It's not Mel's can be, it's Mel's are victims. I feel like there's a lot of statements like, Mel's can be victims. No, 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 babes. It's been proven time and time again males have been victims as well it's actually getting very jarring now i don't know about you but i'm very tired of the whole men are supposed to be this way women are supposed to be this way like of course context matters but like in a sense of abuse in a sense of violence anyone can be anything this is just common sense now at least i thought it was just because men are proven to be scientifically physically stronger does not mean they can fight off every attacker i'm gonna let that sink in and if you didn't know this baby today you do the first thing that Jack mentioned in his video that I wanted to chat with you lots about is he said uh, there was a time where he was just chilling on his phone, he went to his room. So he did all of this right after filming some content, I guess, and then Sienna had come in and she was completely naked and straddled him when he was just chilling there. That was the first thing he spoke about. He said he didn't know what to do in that situation as he felt it was quite random and weird. He immediately said, Sienna, get off, we're just friends, stop. He didn't like that she was just trying to make out with him, especially without consent. He probably also yelled, um, at her as opposed to like physically pushing her or like moving her out the way because he didn't want to hurt her but also because maybe one day she would use that against him there are some calculated people if you don't know because it hasn't happened to you yet it happens there are some people who like might not have the best memory but they remember moments they can use to literally ruin your life it stays in their mind they might not talk about it but one moment you do them dirty but remember that time you pushed me her two friends wanted to take her home. While the car was moving, she jumped out the car and said she has to get back to Jack. Um, I, I don't, it's, the math isn't mathing right now. Like, what do you mean whilst the car was vroom, vroom, vrooming? You want to jump out? You couldn't just phone call? Oh. Um, Okay. She ran back to the house. He was hiding from her, obviously, because he felt uncomfortable and was just waiting for her parents to come and pick her up. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Like, I'm not even trying to be a shady bitch. But, like, if I look at Sienna, I wouldn't think that she was, at this time, 17. Like, I would think she just looks like a grown, like, she looks like she's in her 20s. Hmm. Anyway, she would constantly come to his house, remember her door code. He quickly grew frustration and yelled at her due to what seemed like obsessive behavior. He was sick of her breaking into his house. Can you imagine someone remembering the code to, to, to gain access into your house? What are we doing, ladies and gentlemen? What are we doing? I don't like this. As soon as I heard that, I was like, I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is headed. He was sick of her breaking into his house. The scariest part is, how did you memorize the code? I could be doing anything for my house and you could come in at any given moment. I don't like the idea of that. I don't. He'd wake up and just see her car sitting outside at two in the morning. That screams very obsessive to me. The response isn't reciprocated. It's not the same. You're not on the same page. Like you are trying to do everything you can in your power to because what, you guys are friends. You feel like you could, like, it, I don't know what's gone wrong and where it's gone wrong, but Sienna was on a different page. She would just be like parked outside his house at like two in the morning. Babes, are you not tired? Knowing her, based on this story, she probably sleeps during the day so that she can go and camp out during the night. She'd break into his house a lot and whilst he was trying to sleep, she'd come into his bedroom and he would wake up to her hands in his pants. When I heard him say that, I was like, bro. Goosebumps bumping my skin. He mentioned it happened more than once. 
he mentioned that he was terrified for some reason and i think he mentioned this because he feels well i mean it's it's common that a lot of hypersexual straight men would typically love the idea of like oh the first thing i wake up to is like you know this lady's hand in my pants that's the dream for a lot of people i get why he felt that people would expect him to enjoy that idea when in reality i didn't ask for it i don't she's not even my girl kind of thing she just broke into the house kind of thing he told her to stop and locked her out of the room and then he proceeded to sleep on the floor i'm not really sure as to why he did that i'm not really sure how, like how the house looks i'm not sure this is the hype house or just a different house jack mentioned another time when he was in the shower and locked the door for obvious reasons and then she had managed to pick the lock i don't know what this bitch used whether it was a pen a bobby pin clip i don't know i bobby pin i remember spencer hayes doing that from pll what are you doing she she gained access into the house okay you realize that jack is not in his room he's not in the living room he's not in the kitchen oh not in the toilet must be in the bathroom you wanted to gain access when you shouldn't have been there you wanted to go and pick a lock and for what sienna for what he heard the door open and he screamed at her and he told her to get out she started crying and proceeded to sleep in his bed in this video, he also provides evidence to back up his statements. He also shows screenshots of other guys who have been poorly treated by Sienna. In one of the screenshots, it reads, I don't want this to go anywhere, but I wanted to tell you Sienna low-key blank me when I was hella drunk and I was talking to a different girl. It would be like six months ago. So thank you for coming out and talking about it. It makes me feel better. Hearing this, especially knowing that Sienna is going to be just fine moving forward, let's be honest. Uh, people might unfollow her, but to have 14 million followers on a platform, I doubt huge chunks of people are going to stop messing with her. Like, people are still going to engage with her. She's probably going to limit her comments and her posts, but she's still going to be just fine. And it's not my personal place to dictate what happens with her next, but all I can do with the control that I do have is choose to not click on her content. Not that I ever did anyways, but choose to block her. I don't ever want to see her. How can you sneak into the shower with someone and the fact that you're sneaking in means that you probably shouldn't be doing it you probably shouldn't be there time and time again when this person said leave me alone has not touched you physically but it's just literally verbally told you sienna leave me alone sienna back off sienna you shouldn't be here sienna this is not good i don't want this are people forgetting about the word consent this generation has actually forgotten about the word consent and i've stressed this in multiple videos in relation to this whether it's the james charles who doesn't know what consent means the tony lopez this Tony Lopez is just fine after that. His career was, went on to, I wouldn't say blossom, but he's just fine. James Charles, yes, the ish ain't making sense anymore. Like people aren't tuning in as much, but it doesn't mean these people have been deplatformed. It doesn't mean ads are going to stop. It doesn't mean, you know, things end for them. They're still working on the internet. They're still going to, you know, have opportunities. And I think Jack even knows that by me speaking up and by people listening to this, things aren't really going to change and that's the unfortunate thing again it's not my place to dictate what happens to sienna but i hope she understands that i don't know if you can really come towards understanding now of your wrongdoings when you have been trained to believe this is the right way to think this is the right way to treat people if sienna was to ever reply to this and say i've learned my lesson now i don't think she would though because then everything she said a year ago in that video would have been one big lie and she's not going to make the matter any more worse for her i think what's going to happen next is that she stays silent or she might post a story that expires in 24 hours <laughs> that's the way the team are going to be working to basically make her look like not so much the bad person not so much the chun lee anymore definitely check out jack's video to give you more clarification on things i will link it down below i just hope that people in the situation know that you're going to find the right person who is not going to guilt trip you he's not going to make you feel like the monster when in reality you are the victim who's not going to touch you without consent who's not going to invade your privacy he's not going to sneak in you know and i hope this doesn't ruin him at all because life is still going to go on and with that being said with you living and breathing changes are going to be made positive better changes and i think it might seem hard in a minute to understand that and comprehend that but i truly do believe it i do believe that the right person will come along who's going to respect you in every single aspect yeah that's pretty much it for the story this was a story worth sharing and i'm so glad that i have brought it to my platform it's very important um i ask you guys be very kind please do not send hate wrong is wrong and what sienna did was absolutely disgusting revolting and appalling and i feel like her karma will come to her i'm not going to get involved in enabling the hate i'm not going to go to her page and leave snidey i'm not going to do that i don't want to be the reason as to why something terribly wrong happens to her i feel like justice will happen in due timing 
um, and I feel like karma will hit her. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for rocking with me. I have been your host, It's Keisha. Make sure you guys go and follow me on my Instagram, which is It's Keisha underscore. If you guys ever have any video suggestions, you guys ever want to chat to me about anything, then please go over there and just connect with me. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.